Yep, this is another um, 20th and Regency movie. I got a draw some in sometime since they helped uh, fund the movie. But the movie we're looking at today from these two giants is Mr. and Mrs. Smith from 2005. Uh, yeah, this was um, quite, quite a big one when it came out, mostly because of Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie together. Now, I was honest, now, I was a bit skeptical at first, because, like, I'm just hearing some mixed things about it, and I was thinking, um, hope it's not going to be bad or anything, but, you know what? The movie was actually, uh, fun. I will, I will get some of my criticisms out of the way right now. So, um, the first kind of like all the stuff like before we're in like the kind of desert area, um, dragged on just like was a bit slow. Um, for the life of me, I just wanted Vince Vaughn to just shut up in the movie. And for some of the CGI. Um, some shots don't look that good. Um, like the, I think there was like some CGI in the house explosion. If, if there was, um, it wasn't that good. But, um, hmm. everything else, oh yeah, and like, there are some like instances of shaky cam that were just kind of a bit too hard to follow. Or, like, they kind of overdid the shaky cam just a bit. But, yeah, that, that's all my criticisms that I have with Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Everything else about it was actually really good. Oh, also another criticism. Um, the script is a bit, um, kind of, it's not terrible, but it's just, like, plain. Ugh, I got fake hair in my eye. I hate having that. Any, all right, anyways, let's get on to the good stuff. Uh, Brad Pitt and Angelie Jolie are entertaining as hell. Like, like Brad Pitt, he's just, like, so funny, like, for so much of the movie. And, uh, and of course, like, it's not a Brad Pitt movie without him eating. And Angelie Jolie, she has never looked bad a single day in her life. Like, especially in that kind of latex suit. Like, ugh, oh, she's a goddess. The action scenes were really good. Like, you can definitely tell they put most of their budget on, like, some of the action stuff with all the explosions, gun, gun shootouts. But, you know, with, like, a lot of time probably being spent on that, we still get some, like, really good character moments. Like, the, the house fight between the Smiths um, then kind of, like, their playful banter, like, in some moments. Yeah, like, um, I just really like these two. Um, they definitely did a really great job in the film. Uh, cinematography was not bad. Um, John Powell's score w w was really good. I really liked that. And he would continue to get better. Um, or no, no, no. He, w he would eventually get to reach his peak five years later with How to Train Your Dragon. Um, what else is there to say? Um, nothing else, I guess. I just, I just like to, I just like this movie. Oh yeah, this is the unrated version that I watched. Yeah, I, I was like, I was kind of surprised like how like, wait, this is actually good? Has society been lying to us, like, the whole time, thinking this movie wasn't good? I mean, I know some people may not like this, but I'm one of those people who, I'm one of those people who really fuck with this movie. 